Hello, this is a band that I actually don't think I've listened to. I think a lot of people are going to be like, what, Beth? Um, but I feel like nah. they... I have heard them because I was doing uh, an exercise spin class and they were playing it and I was like, oh, this is the Grateful Dead. So I'm sure, hopefully, I do know this song. If you're interested to hear what I sound like when I sing, I have just released a cover of Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. It's out on Spotify, it is out on Apple, and of course here on YouTube, and I would love to know what you think. funkier than I expected. Wow, everyone's going wild. So they have a fan base called the Deadheads. Oh, I love the harmonies. It's really interesting how they're singing will. I will. I'm making it almost an E vowel. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I will get by. It makes it sound brighter for sure, which goes with that kind of um kind of bouncy rhythm that they've got going. Interesting thing, I don't know how true this is. So if this is completely untrue, let me know in the comments. But apparently the lead singer and guitarist lost part of his middle finger in a wood chopping accident when he was a kid. I don't know why I'm laughing about that. That's horrible. And uh, yeah, it does not seem like his skeleton counterpart has lost part of his finger. Hmm. <laughs> So interesting. Okay. It sounds like spring break to me. So, uh, I, we don't have spring break here. This is what I imagine spring break is like in the US as a Brit. So you're probably like, what are you even talking about? Um, but it's so kind of full of energy and summer and joy, even though it has kind of a dark edge to it with the whole skeleton thing and the name, which comes from a folk tale, as far as I can see, about a traveler who pays for the burial of a corpse in order to help uh, help the spirit. So the grateful spirit. Um, and they found, they found that name and thought it sounded really cool. And um, what I'm loving about the vocals is they're kind of chill and relaxed. And this is a really interesting way to build a big part of vocals when you perhaps are not going to do a big high note. So it sounds like those choruses are quite big because of those harmonies. And um, he's actually staying within a fairly small range. And if you're someone who has a small range, you can do that. But if you use harmonies to build above it, then it suddenly feels like, whoa, this chorus is so much bigger than your verse, which gives you a nice kind of flow and ebb and flow so that it's not a kind of one track song the whole way. Converse. <laughs> Always have been popular. Oh, 
wonder if my mom listens to this. I think she would. So he is doing things. So I will. We talked about that one earlier. Get ba. He's just saying ba, and the ba is actually a normal vocal technique. A thing that makes. It just a little bit easier if you go to an A ah vowel rather than by E and closing and using the Y as a consonant rather than a vowel. So I will get by. If you're going to put the E right on the end, put it right on the end. Don't put it by E because then it closes up and kind of muffles the sound often. There are some instances and some styles where that it really works for and it's become a stylistic uh, point to put in that E a bit early like in a lot of new metal but for this style it would be a little strange and then survive survive instead of survive and then closing up again it just makes everything a lot clearer and easier to sing Are you chair dancing with me today? Woo! It's so full of joy. I think that's why it really hits with people. It feels full of joy. It feels full of hope. And I think in worlds when there is, uh, it feels like there can be a small amount of that. It's nice to have something that just pulls that out of you, makes you want to um, dance and be part of it. And their singing and their style is so relatable. You can sing along. Um, and other people could, you know, you could do a cover of this even if you're not the most proficient singer in the world and it just feels feels good it just feels good it kind of shows that you don't need to be Whitney Houston to be an amazing an amazing musician you just need to write something that feels that makes people feel it doesn't have to make people feel good either it can make people feel shocked or it can make people feel emotional and angry or in a cathartic way but if you make people feel it does not matter and I think that that is something that is really really important and when you're learning to sing think about that don't worry about the perfect all that perfection that we often get stuck on you know Turkey dancing! Woo! <laughs> what a fun song full of joy and hope. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.